for you? How would you express yourself this time? When you feel in love with yourself, would you show all things about you to the universe? Hmm, are there any favorite platforms that you use for expressing yourself? Anyway, technology makes everything easier with the internet. I dare you definitely use social media like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, or TikTok. The social media help Gen Z to express themselves to the public. So, which one is your favorite? Om swastiastu, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom namudaya, salam kebajikan. Good morning, the honorable judges, audiences, and all participants of Festafora 2022. I'm Angita Sarini Putu from SMA Negeri Tujuh dan Pasar. Today, I would like to invite you to do a kind of reflection by paying attention to my speech entitled Contrary Mental Issues by Expressing Self-Love in Social Media. Nowadays, Social media cannot be separated from the teenagers, especially Gen Z. It makes them easier to communicate, interact, develop social networks, make friends, even express their appearance or personal feelings. For example, sharing selfies, personal experience on social media, and some kinds of precious moments. However, instead of giving lots of benefits, Did you know that social media can affect serious mental issues for the teenagers? Ladies and gentlemen, this can be a pressing problem if we do not even take care of our mental health. We may feel unconfident, unworthy, weak, minding insecurities, and living in a world of darkness. Can't you imagine that? Nevertheless, here's the impact of social media that can cause mental issues. It makes Gen Z have low self-esteem because of a beauty standard. If we always pay attention to kind of society's beauty standards, consequently, we feel totally insecure. Moreover, let's see what Instagram provides. It gives an idea to make us look gorgeous. Does anyone know it? Yes, we call it filter. A magical feature which can manipulate some parts of person's face like bigger eyes, point nose, sharpened chin, even brighter skin color without using any makeup. If wise people say nothing is perfect, in fact, everything can be looked perfect on social media. Even worse, People may just use the filter to show the perfection to look for validation, which leads to self-hate rather than self-love. Based on the statement from Deborah Kosaba, PSYD, self-love is a dynamic state of self-appreciation that grows from action that super our physical, psychological, and spiritual growth as action that make us mature. Being mature means Being able to take over control emotions, see things from a wider point of view, and consider wise decisions toward the problem. In addition, by loving and accepting all the weaknesses and strength that exist in ourselves, automatically we train ourselves to have a value of self-love. Album blow, it includes the matter of social media usage. If we sit wisely, will be able to experience abundant benefits of social media as well as getting self-love by trying to post an original picture of ourselves without using filter because it shows our authenticity, sharing positive things, and supporting even inviting netizens to promote the sense of self-love. After knowing the significance of self-love, let me tell you three things about the way to love yourself unconditionally. First, remember that nobody is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. As we go through this life, we must accept and realize the existence of imperfection and mistakes. Making mistakes is part of human nature. So learn how to love yourself by accepting weaknesses. 
Second, surround yourself with a positive environment. We are deeply influenced by the people we spend time with. This can be a good thing if you are spending time with the positive people or even mindful fits on social media. Last but not least, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is a moment-by-moment -moment awareness of thoughts and sensations. By practicing mindfulness, it will lower the stress, restore emotional balance, have a healthier brain, and improve a good mood. In the end, let's take a step to have a value of self-love and keep a healthier mentality. Just remember what Kim Nam Joon from BTS said, no matter who you are, where you're from, your skin color, your gender identity, to speak yourself. Find your name and find your voice by speaking yourself. So love yourself and the rest will follow. That's all for me. Thanks in advance for all of your very kind attention. Om Santi 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 Om. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom Namo Buddhaya. Salam Kebajikan.